Have you thought about what it would be like to not be able to use your hands, to not be able to pick up and manipulate everyday normal objects? There are tons of pathologies out there that cause patients to lose finger tactility, such as Parkinson's disease, arthritis, traumatic brain injury, or spinal cord injuries. For example, 180,000 patients are living in the US today that are considered paraplegic with 10,000 injuries added per year. And the market to cover and treat all these injuries is $7 billion. But we identified a need that is to design a device for patients with reduced finger tactility that allows them to use their hands to grab items. We are Jackal Unlimited and we're gonna present the Jackal Grip 3.1. Hello, we have, we have partnered with QL Plus and they have introduced us to Eric Lindsay. Eric Lindsay is a C5 quadriplegic. He has no ability to move his fingers, meaning he has no fine motor function. However, he still has the ability to move his arms and his wrists. We as Jekyll Unlimited hope to provide a device that allows him to use his own hands to grab objects and give him back a little bit more independence that he's lost from his accident. Now we're going over the design overview. The Jackal Grip 3.1 consists of a post-operative brace, a bar cord, a cord lock, and cord anchor hardware, as well as a carabiner clip, a thumb brace, a finger splint, and elastic bands. We've got, uh, my arm is bent, and if I extend my arm, it puts tension on the cable, and it pulls my thumb and forefinger together, and this is so I can try to pick something up. And so I'm gonna try to pick something up, which is the goal of this device, uh, actually the, and then to let go, this pulls it back. But the goal of the device was to be able to plug in a uh, phone charger cable. So let me try that. Got a plug right here. Let me do it again and not use my fingers. Almost awkward <laughs> you can imagine. Hi, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm going to be going over the grasping cord test for the Jackal Unlimited uh, 3.1 is what we're at now. Um, and for the Jack or for the Jackal Unlimited 3.1's grasping cord test, we're simply going to be asking for uh, able to grab the cord for 10 seconds. So for our challenger Eric Lindsay, we're going to take the Jackal Grip 3.1 and we're going to mount it on him, and we're going to be using three different cords for the first one. We're going to be using a standard iPhone charger, as shown in the picture above. We're going to be using a standard household charger uh, that you can find anywhere in the U.S. And then we're going to be using a, a three-prong extension cord. Um, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting uh, each cord individually and then placing it on the table. And then we were going to ask Eric Lindsay, with no restrictions, um, to use uh, the Jack Cold 3.1 to be able to grasp the cord and hold it simply for 10 seconds. For Eric Lindsay, this is very difficult because he's not able to grasp the cord at all. So uh, the 10 second uh, time limit is all we really need to show that the device is uh, able to work and prosper in the market. So uh, we went ahead and did this and for the results, they were very promising. Uh, for, each, uh, for each individual cord, he was able to grasp them for at least 10 seconds. So the Jackal Grip 3.1 is showing great promise and we are very excited. And in this next video, we'd like to show how our challenger, Eric Lindsay, was able to actually use the Jackal Grip 3.1 in the grasping cord test. How's that? So it seems... You kind of try to hold it as much as you can. Yeah. See, see how much force we had. Yeah, from before, we didn't have to do much to slide it out, so now it's... Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Making progress. So, so I want to go over the plugging in cord test. So this test consisted of Eric trying to grab three different types of cords and plug it into a wall. Additionally, he had to hold it for 10 seconds before he could do that. So I want to go over the types of cords that we were using. So the first cord we used was a standard iPhone cable. Then we used a US standard cord that had two prongs. Then finally we had an extension cable. 
this extension cable has three prongs. So when we go on to the test results, the test results concluded that two out of the three results were successful. However, that last one with the three prongs caused him to fail. That extra prong gave him so much resistance that it caused him to fail. In our next video that I'm going to show, it's showing Eric plugging in the You go back to that brass knuckle idea, kind of reinforced. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Wow. Cool. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, the Jackal Grip 3.1 has shown uh, outstanding promise, and we are very proud of the prototype that we've been able to make. Um, the Jackal Grip 3.1 has exceeded our expectations uh, exponentially. Uh, it was able to grasp the cords, it was able to meet all functional requirements. It was able to hold cords for 10 seconds. Uh, it's comfortable to use all day for our challengers. Um, and segueing into that, we'd like to thank our challenger, Eric Lindsay, sincerely for giving us this opportunity uh, to allow us to uh, not only gain this experience, but be able to really help him and change his life. Um, as Eric said, uh, he really just wants his independence back. And we do believe that this prototype can uh, increase his independence greatly. Uh, we'd like to thank his wife, Suki. Uh, she's been an outstanding help as well. Um, with with his particular his particular need, uh, even though we have a, a sole challenger, we'd really like to broaden our markets with the Jaguar Grip 3.1. Um, to anybody that has tendonitis problems or uh, arthritis, uh, we want to offer them an outlet that way we can change their lives. Um, and this couldn't be possible without any of our sponsors. Uh, our sponsors have been great throughout this whole process. Uh, we'd like to thank our mentors and our supervisors, that being uh, Dr. Laura Gaviria. Dr. Hugo Gambini and Dr. Richard Watson. They all have been a, a great help along the whole journey. Um, of course, we'd like to thank our outside help, uh, our clinical advisors, Roberto and Aldo Viltes. Uh, they've been outstanding. Um, and we're super excited for the procedure to go on and to show growth. And we'd like for you to follow us along. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you.